<laughs> morning everyone we just uh, finished collecting uh, the seaweed and the tide is already quite high it's already at uh, 1.5 and lucky uh, we still managed to get the seaweed I think by around uh, 2 meter high uh, the seaweed will be fully covered with water so it's kind of dangerous to go down this loop because it's very slippery plus today I didn't wear my Vibram uh, uh, shoes so if you guys don't want to go down this loop there's a uh, stairs right there for you guys to collect the seaweed I think it's much safer for you guys to collect over there and I believe the seaweed are also quite a lot at that side because it's still quite green so the tide is already coming in and today is actually a nip tide and yesterday while I was uh, playing egging at Marina South Pier I saw a lot of uh, rabbit fish again and today I've decided to yeah, collect some seaweed and maybe try my luck to catch them again so after this session I'll be sharing to you guys uh, what rig I use and how I set up my pole rod so I'll meet you guys at Marina South Pier sidelines First one, yes. A good egging tide, so called. Uh. Sorry? Either way. Yeah, three. Oh, I was recording all the way. Third one. It's a different species, I believe. This would be the third rabbit of the day. Just nice. My GoPro just died. Quite a beautiful one right here. Different pattern. update uh, we caught at least four rabbit fish and uh, we lost a few as well I'm not sure why they keep on getting the hook and not getting set properly so earlier I went to change the hook I mean the rig and now I'm currently trying again current time now is at 3 p.m. and the weather is quite cloudy the Sun is out and but it's still bright but the rabbit fish are very finicky and uh, they don't seem to like the seaweed now I don't know why as well but they are still nibbling on the rocks so hopefully by last light they will be frenzying again in a way that they will be biting the algae or seaweed lah. so yep I'll be trying again and hopefully we can land a few more 
So as you guys can see the ship is there. There's a lot of people uh, hanging around, a lot of anglers as well. And today was actually today is actually a solo mission and yep, we managed to land a few now. And let's see how it goes. Thailand. like we didn't even hook this fella on the mouth it was hooked on the body as you guys can see right there noise this should be the fifth one of the day nice color right there be careful not to get stung No, no, rabbit fish. Okay, fish uh? Yeah. Oh, okay, la, got one. Uh, I caught six already. <laughs> oh, got six already? Uh? Yeah. Oh, good, eh? Fun to catch them. Uh. You use also corn, uh? No, uh, I use seaweed. Seaweed? Yeah, seaweed. Okay, this, uh, this green stuff. Uh. Oh, this one? Yeah, this they one. Eat this one? Yeah, they eat this one. Oh, they really, really eat this one, yep. Do you guys want to try? I can pass you some. Uh. You, got, you guys got a long rod, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then uh, you just use uh, some small hooks. Then uh, you use Apollo. There you go. Thank you. No props. You got small hooks? <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> the number seven but looks like our camera wasn't recording <laughs> oh my god number seven current update uh, we caught seven today time now is 4 22 and most probably will be calling it a day because i'm quite tired and i woke up very early today because i want to get the seaweed so far the red fish haven't been biting and they just passed by my uh, seaweed and basically my bait and I think they've started to slow down a bit. So in a moment I'll be sharing to you guys on how I rig my pole rod and I'll be showing my rig to you guys and how I catch the red fish. So yep, stay tuned, tight lines. So what I have right here are the accessories I use to actually uh, tie my rig. So the rig is right here. So it's kind of hard to see using this. So I created a yarn right here as a reference. So the rig is actually uh, 60 cm in length and each hooks are separated at around 10 cm each. And looking at the bottom section of the rig right here, we have the split shot, which are around 1.4 to 1.8 grams in weight and the main line that I usually use to actually tie my rig is uh, my usual Daiwa FC uh, leader line, four pounds. I usually use this one for my Ajin game as well. So for the hook wise, I use uh, size five hooks. These are the so-called Tamban hook sizes and my favorite one would be the gold color. Uh, the hook up read on this uh, gold color is actually much better But recently I've been using this one as well. It works quite quite good also and Yep, as you guys can see it's actually a 60 cm Apollo rig with three hooks and The reason why we are actually using a very small sinker is Not to let the rabbit fish get spooked so last time I used to 
uh, use heavy sinkers and once the sinker knock onto the rock the rabbit fish will get spooked and they will basically swim away so now I'm actually using a very small one so I don't usually let this uh, sinker or split shot uh, sink to the very bottom I just let it hover uh, a certain water column for the rabbit fish to see the bait and they usually take it so for my main line what I have right here is a 6 pounds infused line and I've been using this for my rabbit fish fishing for a while now and it's pretty strong, it has no stretch but this line is not really suggested for rabbit fish fishing because it might damage your pole rod but for my case, uh, based on preference wise I like using this because it's, uh, it has no stretch and it's very strong and the sound it makes when you hook one rabbit fish is actually pretty cool so yep, I'm loving this line Braided is not really suggested for uh, rabbit fish fishing as well because it might damage your pole rod also but uh, yep, it's based on my preference so I've been using this so what I have right here is actually a line stopper these things are used to connect your main line to your pole rod and uh, in a moment I'll be sharing to you guys on how we do it so the last thing that we have here is actually a float stopper but for my case I don't really put any float in my uh, rig but I use this one as an indicator of the water depth so I usually adjust this according to the uh, water level and it helps me uh, yep, see the depth of the water and how much should I let my uh, bait sink into the water so yeah if you guys notice in the video is a bright orange thing in my main line so now I'll be sharing to you guys on how I connect my main line to my pole rod so this is my uh, infused line with the line stopper right here but I won't be using this uh, main line to actually show you guys because it's quite hard to see because it's too thin so I'll be using a yarn again to show you guys on how I put it so this is my uh, pole rod tip so there's a knot right there so you guys must be wondering on how we usually uh, tie the main line to this uh, uh, knot right here so I'll be showing you guys in a moment so using this uh, yarn right here as a reference I'll be showing to you guys on how we tie the main line to the pole rod and usually we have a loop right here uh, using your point finger and your thumb create another loop and with this loop you will go through the knot of the pole rod and we just gently pull it and it will lock in place like this so using your line stopper you just pull it to secure it and yep you have a very secured uh, line right here and to easily remove it you just pull your line stopper and you just gently open the line again and you can easily reuse it again yep it's that easy So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and I hope you guys learned some new stuff about uh, how I catch some rabbit fish. So it's a very simple setup and yep, usually hooks works very effective as well. So there's also another style of catching rabbit fish called garong and I'll be sharing to you guys the link and how to find out more about this uh, fishing style in the description below. So I'll see you guys next time. Sidelines.